Yes, this week, the Royal Mounted Police in Canada investigated claims of a nude man hiking the blank trail. Comet? No, the full frontal trail. That's what it's called. On Tuesday, the CDC recommended that families avoid blank this October. Or blanking. Trick-or-treating. Right. This week, we learned the co-founder of Costco, Jim Senegal, threatened the life of the company's new CEO, saying he would kill him if the CEO dared to blank. Raise membership fees. No, close though, raise the price of their food court hot dog. Wow. People love that $1.50 hot dog and a soda combo from Costco, so much so that when the new CEO suggested raising the price, the store's co-founder replied, if you raise the price of the hot dogs, I will kill you. Now, he was probably just being hyperbolic, but on the other hand, nobody has seen the CEO in months, and now the hot dogs taste kind of funny. <laughs> I love the $1.50 Costco hot dog and soda. But would you pay two fifty for it? Peter? No. One of the things that makes it taste so great is it's only a buck fifty. Yeah. It's Those awesome. Those are 1975 prices. Wait. 85 actually. It's been priced that way since then. I was wow. going to say 85. You, you, you really love those hot dogs. I really <laughs> love those hot dogs. Bill, how did Dulce do in our quiz? Dulce has four right, eight more points. She now has 10, but Alonzo still has the lead with 12. How many, then, does Joel need to win? Joel needs four to tie, five to win. All right, here we go, Joel. This is for the game. You got this, Joel. Come on, baby. On Wednesday, California signed an executive order requiring all cars sold in the state to be blank by 2035. Carbon neutral. Yes. On Tuesday, the CIA said that Vladimir Putin was likely behind an operation to denigrate blank before the election. Joe Biden. Right. On Thursday, the White House press secretary said that despite what he said on Wednesday, President Trump would accept blank. Losing the election. Right. Later on Thursday, President Trump said that he would not accept blank. Losing the election. Right. On Tuesday, the Hallmark Channel announced their first Christmas movie featuring a blank couple would air in November. Gay couple. Yes, indeed. On Sunday, Schitt's Creek set a record after sweeping the comedy category at the 72nd of Blank Awards. Emmys come. Right. This week, a new campaign from Georgia Republican Kelly Loeffler brags that she is more conservative than blank. Um, Ronald Reagan. No, more conservative than Attila the Hun. Oh, shh. What? While it's unclear from a policy standpoint why you would compare yourself to the guy who regularly put his enemies' heads on spikes, it might help in debates. Of course, Senator Loeffler is from Georgia, so there's a chance she thought it was Attila the Hun with an O, as in, well, bless Attila's heart. Aside from that whole rape and pillaging thing, he's sweet as pecan pie. It's always sad to hear a Yankee do that. I know. <laughs> Bill, did Joel do well enough to win? Everybody sit down. He had six right for 12 more points. That means with 16, he's this week's champion. There you go. Oh, I never win. This feels amazing. I'd like to thank my mom. In just a minute, our panelists predict what will be the big surprise twist in the new season of The Great British Bake Off. Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me is a production of NPR and WBEZ Chicago in association with Urgent Haircut Productions' Doug Berman, Benevolent Overlord. Philip Godica writes our limericks quite well. Our public address announcer is Paul Friedman. Our house manager is Gianna Capadona. Our intern is Darius Cook. Our social media manager is Emma Day, and our web guru is Beth Novi. B.J. Liederman composed our theme. Our program was produced by Jennifer Mills, Miles Dornboss, and Lillian King. Our Rick Roll historian is Peter Gwynn. Special thanks this week to Ismail Lutfi. Technical direction is from Lorna White. Our business and ops manager is Colin Miller. Our production manager is Robert Newhouse. Our senior producer is Ian Shillog. The executive producer of Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me is Mike Wolverine Danforth. Now, panel, what will be the big surprise on this season of the Great British Bake Off? Joel Kim Booster. Every week will be bread week in order to honor all of those in lockdown. Sourdough, sourdough, sourdough! Dulce Sloan. The grand finale will be a grand display of desserts enjoyed in America, such as pecan pie, moon pies, and 7-Up cake. And Alonzo Bowden. They're going to go old school, and if you want to bake, you got to build your own fire, so you start with two sticks. <laughs> well, if any of that happens, panel, we'll ask you about it on Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me. Thank you, Bill Curtis. Thanks also to Alonzo Bowden. Dulce Sloan and Joel Kim Booster. Thanks to all of you for listening. We made it through the spring. We made it through the summer. We can do the fall. I'm Peter Sagal. We'll see you next week. This is NPR.